Hi friends. Welcome to Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Surface irrigation is where water is applied and distributed over the soil surface by gravity. It is by far the most common form of irrigation throughout the world and has been practiced in many areas virtually unchanged for thousands of years. Surface irrigation is often referred to as flood irrigation, implying that the water distribution is uncontrolled and therefore inherently inefficient. In reality, some of the irrigation practices grouped under this name involve a significant degree of management. Surface irrigation comes in three major types, level basin, furrow and border strip. Process. The process of surface irrigation can be described using four phases. As water is applied to the top end of the field it will flow or advance over the field length. The advance phase refers to that length of time as water is applied to the top end of the field and flows or advances over the field length. After the water reaches the end of the field it will either run off or start to pond. The period of time between the end of the advance phase and the shut off of the inflow is termed the wetting, ponding or storage phase. As the inflow ceases the water will continue to run off and infiltrate until the entire field is drained. The depletion phase is that short period of time after cutoff when the length of the field is still submerged. The recession phase describes the time period while the water front is retreating towards the downstream end of the field. The depth of water applied to any point in the field is a function of the opportunity time, the length of time for which water is present on the soil surface. Furrow Irrigation System Furrow irrigation is conducted by creating small parallel channels along the field length in the direction of predominant slope. Water is applied to the top end of each furrow and flows down the field under the influence of gravity. Water may be supplied using gated pipe, siphon and head ditch, or bankless systems. The speed of water movement is determined by many factors such as slope, surface roughness and furrow shape but most importantly by the inflow rate and soil infiltration rate. The spacing between adjacent furrows is governed by the crop species. Common spacings typically range from 0.75 to 2 meters. The crop is planted on the ridge between furrows which may contain a single row of plants or several rows in the case of a bed type system. Furrows may range anywhere from less than 100 meters to 2000 meters long depending on the soil type, location and crop type. Shorter furrows are commonly associated with higher uniformity of application but result in increasing potential for runoff losses. Furrow irrigation is particularly suited to broad acre row crops such as cotton, maize and sugar cane. It is also practiced in various horticultural industries such as citrus, stone fruit and tomatoes. The water can take a considerable period of time to reach the other end, meaning water has been infiltrating for a longer period of time at the top end of the field. This results in poor uniformity with high application at the top end with lower application at the bottom end. In most cases the performance of furrow irrigation can be improved through increasing the speed at which water moves along the field. This can be achieved through increasing flow rates or through the practice of surge irrigation. Increasing the advance rate not only improves the uniformity but also reduces the total volume of water required to complete the irrigation. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all friends and don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.